Hello, I'm Seven, and welcome to SCV Network. Today we have Charles, we have Asia, and we have Essence. And we are going to discuss Black Lives Matter versus Blue Lives Matter. So Essence, can you please go over some of the events that happened last week? Right. So in case you guys are living underneath a rock, there were three high-profile situations last week where um, Alton Sterling and Philando Castle were slain by police officers. And as re in retaliation, gunman Michael Xavier Johnson shot down five police officers during protests after protests erupted. Now, Charles, we spoke on length about our experiences when this happened. And I think a lot of people are very emotional because they're thinking about you know their life experiences and uh, you think that's playing too much of a role in how we're talking about these events yes and no and okay. i think people really have to know history you have to know your history this stuff has been going on for a very long time it's nothing new and i think with technology and cell phones a lot of this stuff is now being captured by the phones and and what i've been telling people is Think of the stuff that's being caught on, you know, the phones now. What about all the stuff for all these decades that have been going on that have been getting swept underneath the rug? This is not a new problem. I mean, Castile getting pulled over and killed basically for a tail light. Mm -hmm. And I would tell people, switch to roles. If that was a white person, let's be honest, would that have happened? No, it would not have happened. There's different roles for different people. And I think people need to wake up. There is a race problem, excuse me, a race problem in the United States. And you hear so many people saying this and saying that. They say so much, but nobody is coming up with any answers. It's right. that simple. Mm -hmm. And if they're not ready to address the answers, we are not going to get anywhere. That's on both sides. On both sides. Mm -hmm. I well, let me say, Asia, would, would you say that it is a matter of Black Lives Matter versus Blue Lives um, I would, because in regards to roles, it is an officer's job, anyone that has authority over anything to protect. And if you're not doing that, if you're not protecting, then what are you doing? You know, it does make us feel unsafe because who do people call whenever something happens? They call, you know, law enforcement, police mm -hmm. officers, and we're being targeted and killed on behalf of matters that don't really pertain to why we're actually being shot. So yes, it does really seem more like a racial thing. And in regards to Blue Lives Matter, that's actually a new movement that's being started, um, basically explaining that officers, they sacrificed their lives to serve our country. Yes, that is true. But officers are not being targeted right now as much as people of color killed, people of color being killed and as a result of all these things that are happening it is in reaction to the events that are occurring right now it's like the saying goes when you're accustomed to privilege sometimes equality could feel like you're being oppressed exactly you know? i feel like you know it's crazy because blue lives matter it's almost a slap in the face to Black Lives Matter. Exactly. It was It was made after. Yes, it's great to um, uplift everyone, all lives. That's great. We all know that. But Black Lives Matter isn't an attack on any other race or on white people or any other race. Exactly. We have to deal with the issue that is at hand. And I feel like all of these other movements being started in the midst of us showing like this is the problem, it is offensive because we're not trying to randomly say black people this, black lives matter, all this stuff. We're saying this because of what is happening. I mean, there's, there's evidence yeah. of it. I mean, I, I just don't get how the focus can be shifted into something negative out of what is happening to us like, in our race. You said movements. I see this uh, Hispanic lives matter now. I mean, it's great. And I understand if you are a minority and you feel the oppression, especially through all throughout history, right. and it's in your roots, and you want to talk about that, let it be ousted. I mean, because that needs it needs to go. We need to have equality mm -hmm. and we need to really deal with our justice system as it should be because we are a democracy. Right. Okay. Can I let me fly back over to the top? Man, there's a lot of great stuff being said. I'm about to explode over here. Now, Black Lives Matter and Blue Lives Matter. And what people have to realize, okay, 
police officers, and I have family in law enforcement. I don't wish harm on anybody. You know what I mean? I, I, I don't like people getting hurt on either side. That's just to me in this day and age, it should not be happening. But what people have to realize is that police officers, they are people before they receive that label of a police officer. A police officer, that's their job. That's what they do, right? You are a person first. So those values, those morals, and your standards that you live by, that is how you conduct yourself. Right. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Right. They had that stuff in them before they became the police officers. That's what you do for a job. Mm-hmm. And the they, and a badge can't cover that that's, all. That's exactly perfect. That's so you cannot act like police officers are all the same. They everybody needs to be accountable for the actions, and that's not what is what be, is not what's being done, and that's the problem. Where at hand, that's what people are ignoring when exactly. they say, you know, when they defer from what the point of Black Lives Matter is. Right. If you look at any profession, right? Let's just say you go into a restaurant and you have a bad waiter or waitress. People will say that was a bad waiter or a bad waitress. Or you go and you go to a salesperson to buy a car and you don't like the way they're selling you the car. You would say that was a bad salesperson. Right. You don't pluralize it. Right. But when it comes to police officers being critiqued, it's like we are not allowed or people aren't allowed to say anything. Mm -hmm. And I will say this. Everyone speaks up, right? For gay rights, people spoke up for gay rights. Nothing wrong with that. I think people should fight for what they believe in. Yeah. Um, Hispanics, Latinos, if everyone, they all speak up. It seems like when blacks speak up, it's like it's a problem. Mm. And why I'm saying this, look at the speech that Jess, uh, Jesse Williams gave, right? At, at the BET Awards, yeah. Look, and he touched on all this stuff. Mm-hmm. First, they people were criticizing, saying he was what? He was racist for saying what he did. He's right? mixed, actually. I think black and white. He, yep, he is. He's mixed. And then they then they wanted to fire him off his job for what he said. But then look what happened a few short days later. The exact things that he was saying, it happened. Literally. So it's not like he's making this stuff up. Mm. This stuff is happening. Again, it needs to be dealt with on a humanitarian level. To be level. clear, um, his producers stood by him right. and yeah. said, no, he's going to stay here. It was people in the public that have complained and said he should be fired for what he said. Right. Producers who happen to be African-American. So. It's, 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 um, it's, like I said, it's ludicrous what's going on. And again, this is not a new issue. Again, police officers, they are human beings. You're human first before you become a police officer. And I, I, don't, I don't know if they have to be dealt with, you know, take psychological exams before you become a police officer, because if you can't deal with other races of people, then you don't deserve to be a police officer, yes. hands down. Actually, you could look up, there's a certain amount of hours that is spent in training for um, firearms, and then if you look at the hours of training put into de-escalating um, situations, it's a lot less. You're talking about maybe six to eight hours to de-escalate, mm-hmm. and umpteenth hours how to shoot a gun which tells you the the focus is really stopping people um in their tracks by using weapons by any force um necessary um i would like to bring up uh a a flip side to it um should it even be a matter of black lives versus blue lives and the example is uh jeff d d nia jeff tania i met him yesterday he actually saved uh, a few lives. He saved a few lives yesterday. A uh, ship turned over, and he saved the whole family, including um, including someone else that was on the ship. And I just want to say there are officers that really do believe in helping people. They do believe in protecting and serving. And for people to be upset with Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter, they're not really looking at the core of what that is. Because it's not a thing of being anti-police. It's saying that these lives matter and they need to be treated as other citizens, as Essence, you mentioned, other citizens that have, quote unquote, privilege, the privilege to be citizens and to live and to be protected and to be served. That's very heroic of him. That I'm, I mean, there's so many police officers who do things like that every day, right. you know? But people need to remember what the problem is. Right. And there was a that. meme that my cousin had actually showed me where it was basically saying people are complaining about Black Lives Matter. And it's kind of the same as saying if your left arm gets cut off 
you wouldn't say, well, right arm, well, the right arm matters too, because <laughs> the problem is your left arm got cut off. So yeah. why are we You're not going to try to bandage and kiss up the other arm. Right now, before <laughs> this one dies out, we got to help it. Exactly. And, but people are so scared. I mean, and it's not, it is a race, racial problem. I mean, you want to say blue lives matter versus black lives matter. Okay, that's ridiculous, first of all, comparing. Because they all have a, a certain purpose. And a, exactly. All different right. roles. But there is also, you do see, uh, I mean, pe from past experiences, it, it, it's sometimes a race problem. Where you see pe police responding to instances where it's African-American people that, are, you know, that need help. Um, slower than you see white people. Or you see a video that has gone viral where a white man was in a store and... You know, but they say struggle. That's the police. They say sometimes, oh, we were in a struggle and whatever. I had to pull out my gun. So they, it was in a struggle. The guy was really being combative with the police officer. They tased him, but they was able to restrain him without him dying. Right. No shots fired. Exactly. Not even, oh, let me shoot just not to kill. All right, Essence, let me throw this at you. This is very important. From the other side of it, uh, a lot of these young men and women, and a lot of the ones on the street are young men and women that all they want to do is go home to their families. Mm. This is a job. So in a way, do, we don't even really need to applaud their services in a way because that's what you're being paid to do. But if you're walking up to somebody and you have no idea if they're going to pull out a gun, pull out a wallet, pull out a knife, or they're just going to put their hands in the air, isn't it safe to say that mistakes will happen? Or no. But if you see um, a disproportionate amount of mistakes happening when it comes to race, which why I say it is also a racial problem, a racial issue, we have to, because there's bias where people are taught from grade school, from in their homes, that there is a difference. I have more privilege than you. I should be afraid of you. Or there are cowards in this uniform taking this, this job mm -hmm. and not putting that into perspective when they're dealing with these type of situations. If you're scared, if you have a problem with people of color, if you know you have that type of issue, that a, a, a racial complex, then maybe this isn't the job for you because you are dealing with people. Right. Yes, you have this job maybe 40 hours a, um, a week. You take that badge off. You're not using that badge anymore and you're a regular person. They're using their authority as a platform to disguise maybe their true intention or, or something their ideology they need help with because there are they, everyone has some type of bias and i'm glad that president obama mentioned that at the um at the police memorial ser service in right. dallas he wasn't just being general he didn't generalize the situation he mentioned that yes black lives matter isn't an attack on white people no it's not I mean, it's and not it's, yeah it's crazy that they even say I, that i don't like, understand again everyone stands up for their people when they're needed. Again, Jews will stand up for Jews. No one says anything. They can march. Nothing wrong with that. But how, my question is, how come every time black people, we, we stand up, it's like, oh, they, it's like the attitude that they have is like, you know what, you should be happy and don't say anything. People always want to go by that. numbers. Look at the numbers. You have more black men being shot than any other race. Mm -hmm. I mean, over selling CDs, walking down the street. I mean, I'm a black male. I've been harassed by the police. Again, I have family in law enforcement. I respect police officers, but there and is And you have an no issue. type of thug in you whatsoever. What, <laughs> it, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who you are. First of all, I'm a black man. So mm -hmm. right there, that's, 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 the, that's the spotlight right on me right there. Well, you know what? Let's, let's take that a little further when you said spotlight, because one of the issues I have with the media is that when we talk about or should I say when the media has been talking about Micah Xavier Johnson, that is the um, ex-military gentleman that has shot the five police officers, we see this picture. And how come we don't see this? You know, you know I think so, like them pushing the, okay, so you see right. the fist in the air, you know, the quote unquote intellectual brother enlightened and standing up for my people the daishiki i have a interest in investing into my cultural background and my my ancestors my culture i don't like the way they're pitching this and and this is how they're twisting black lives matter into this renegade revolution 
rather than just American citizens that want to be respected and treated fairly. They don't show you this. They don't show you this. Why do they use this picture? Right. And that's what's very insulting, I, I think. I mean, I think the picture of him in the dashiki is a beautiful image of him. It shows power. But what are, what are they afraid of? What are people afraid of? They are afraid of power, of be, power being taken from them. Isn't that not showing equality where there is a, a there's a there's isn't an even balance there you know i mean right. that picture showing him a well, they're soldier not, well, they're, they're not promoting power when they show no, that picture. Well, you know, when you he know, has his he has his fist up that symbolizes power the first and thing they see is black power black power and then black the first thing they see is black power right, but you know, but they're twisting it yes, right. they're twisting it twisting. black panther party yeah they're trying to do the same thing but the thing is with the black panthers people don't know the history behind the black panthers yes you know, from right, the Uwe Pena Newton. Right. Into a negative, right. During the Civil Rights Movement, the Black Panthers helped their communities. Exactly. They had breakfast p programs for the children. Right. The, it wasn't just right. all about violence, and two, violence was brought so, to them. So what's the cure? What can we do as a people? Because, again, who, who, who watches broadcast, I don't know if we're going to be preaching to the choir. So I don't want to <laughs> do too much of that because, hey, do some research. Well, guess what? There's, this movies, and wait, there's movies and stuff out there. My thing is... We have to control media and as a generation yeah. think of these images and how they're playing with it. Because they simply if you if you remember when it first when it first happened, they said they didn't know who this man was. But hours before they decided to blow this guy up, they already had police officers at his house. And then after they blew him up, oh, you know, he, he kind of kept to himself. Oh, we don't know his mental state. Oh, he lives with his mother, he lives with his mother. Okay. What does that have to do with anything? If you obviously didn't care what his mental state was because you blew him up. Exactly. Sentenced you know? to death without trial. So, mm. so the thing is, you know, we really got to sit back and not get so riled up and really think of like, look, look at how media is moving. They went really quick to silence him, get rid of him. And they went really quick to try to paint a picture that a lot of people will jump on because again they're not knowledgeable essence like you said they, they have no idea about the black panther party and they have no idea about black lives matter um so if the media paints a particular picture that's what it will be people Negative sometimes be compare reality. them to the kkk have you ever heard someone compare the black panther parties to the kkk yeah, they're, they're two wow two, wow two different things it's almost like when people try to condemn obama and but then they don't condemn Donald Trump. Oh my gosh, that is It's awesome hilarious. Too. It's hilarious. It's man. One thing that drives me crazy is when they try to demonize the victims, right? You look at um, Elton Sterling. They don't say anything good. They're, oh, he had a rap sheet. He did this. He what? That officers they don't know that. You understand? Okay. Or the, the, um, it's it's like they it, it's like they have no feelings toward the people. They, they'll just pull out all the bad things. If you take and you look in anybody's past, you're gonna find something. You understand what I'm trying to say? Exactly. So to use that <laughs> that's for what your reasoning behind what you did, that that's garbage, man. That is pure garbage. You can't justify. Great point. The, Great those, point. And I hate that those brothers were executed. They were executed. <laughs> One in front of a store and the other on the side of the road in front of his daughter and right. his brother. That's, that, that's, that's what I think happened. it was his fiance, um, Diamond Reynolds. It's just disgusting because, first of all, he couldn't even go take his last breath in peace. The gun was still pointed to him. Literally. The girl, little girl was in the backseat, four years old. His fiance was actually streaming live on Facebook Live. Very calm and collected, too. Very but calm and she collected. She had no choice. She was I mean, strong. Like, she had to be I strong. I thought that was... <laughs> Phenomenal. She had to be strong. I mean, the police officer was still yelling at her, scared. What was he scared for? He had the gun in his hand, right. you know, telling her she had to be strong. She couldn't even console him. She was just saying, please don't let him be dead. Oh, God, please don't let me right. be dead. Right. Right. Horrible situation. I think that it's crazy situation. because instead of looking at person to person, which is what they tend to do in other cases with other races, for instance, those shootings that were happening where some guy, a Caucasian, had literally shot up a school of children, the Sandy Hook situation. They don't generalize, or we don't generalize and say, wow, do you see all these white people? All they do is just walk into schools and start killing people. But we do one thing, or we get 
accused of doing something and now we're labeled but as it's the whole race yeah it's, it's the not. whole race wow look at black people they always do things like this i mean guess what on. there are hoods there are hoods where people there's lower education there's poverty there are people black people in the great communities i mean it's an individual it's not a whole race right so you cannot do that that's not even very intelligent to do anyway exactly and I on mean, the grand scale of things we are an oppressed you know, race. For, and that's a oppressed. whole nother show. Yeah. Because people want to ignore it because, and that's why I say there is bias. Look at how they did Philando Castro mentioning that he had, he got pulled over like 52 times. What does that have to do with him being shot? Right. But ask you know? yourself, why was he pulled over? Was he, was it justified while he was pulled over 52 In an open times? carry state. Yeah. If you, if a person is, I'm sorry, innocent, you're innocent and proven guilty. Until so proven you, guilty. Yeah. How can you justify pulling over somebody 52 times well look at the prosecutors the prosecutors are prosecuting themselves i mean they could basically say whatever the, the person the victim that's supposed to, supposed to be the victim they can't even have like any say really be, right. they don't even know what's going on you know it's like they're dealing with the judges they know each other they know what they know what they're saying to each other they're they're already putting together their own story well you have you be, the before, right on the head. before it's answer. told to the before it's told to the public here's your answer here, that's, that's perfectly what you said. Look at this. I'm going to lay this out right now. Now, if you go into becoming a police officer and your, your, your mindset is already kind of backwards on how you, look, how you look at things, right? And then you're getting, they have to be getting orders. You understand? It's not like they can be just keep going rogue. They are probably told, do you think they police a white neighborhood the same as they police a black neighborhood? No, they don't. And th you have there's proven videos. There's a film on that, film on that. yeah. yeah. So it's, it's done. I mean, that's, a, that's just common sense. Please check out that film, 70, I believe it's 75, right? Was that if the ex-police officer is talking about how they were told to do these, take these yeah. orders? So right. this, this is yeah, another thing. One. I'm going to take, I'm going to use myself as an example because why I know me. People, wake up. I know what it's like to be driving your car and the cops jump behind you and tell you for God knows how long. I know what it's like to be taken out of your car, you search for drugs, your car search for drugs, you understand? I know these things. It, it's like, you. It's. I guess it's hard for other people to imagine, or simply go into a store and get tailed by security. Yes. I literally yeah. tell the people, look, I'm not taking anything, I'm here to buy something. By you following me, there's someone in here robbing your store blind. Yeah. Again. You don't know what people go through until you walk a mile in their shoes. Right. But Charles, what's the solution? Before we go, what is the solution? Because it's obvious there's a problem. It's, it's, um, if you talk to more police officers and do the research, and there's tons of dec um, documentaries where police are forced to get a certain amount of points per month. So they have to just, you know, keep bothering people. And you know what? If you target an area, and a group of people, at some point, something's going to be off. Something, you know, you can find an excuse to write a ticket. Um, but what's the solution? How do we stop this? The solution's very easy. Everyone should be treated the exact same. You treat people how you want to be treated. Everyone should be dealt with. But that's not happening. Some you know, people are too old to even change now, so. I, know, but, I mean, that's, that is the basic, that's the basic answer. I mean, what, what else? Yeah, but, what can we do? Who, who do we have to, I mean, uh, should we put more pressure on the politicians? Should we put more, how, how do we do this? No, think about it. I'm listening there say, oh, well, they need to be retrained. You've been on the force for 12 years and you need to be retrained? If you don't have it now, if it's not in you, you're not going to correct it. Well, the problem with that is who's going to do the retraining? That's what I'm saying. If it's, it's going to be another police officer doing the retraining, it's, it's almost like a police officer uh, being able to reprimand <laughs> another police officer, you know, it's, it's not going to happen. It's, it's almost as if you would have a big tree. The roots are so deep. deep They're yes. so deep. They're yeah. so deep, man. Okay. And well, you know what? Let's, maybe we need to come back again and have a list of solutions. Yes. Because we can go through the problems forever. We know what the problems are. Right. The corrupt individuals in a position of power, right? Right. So... Okay, well then how do we get rid of those oh, corrupt individuals? Here we go. Mm -hmm. Just like, mm -hmm. check this, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, no. I'm, 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 I'm going to get on a roll here. If you, all right, maybe a point system, complaint system. If you receive more than three complaints, then you should be taken off active duty, maybe given a desk job. If, think about it, if, if I get too many complaints on my job, I get fired. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So everyone be treated the same, like you said. Treated, yeah, everyone be treated the same. There is no way 
that you can kill someone in cold blood and still work. They honestly, they should lose their jobs. That period point blank. If you start dealing with them and, and making them pay for what they have done, you they should have to pay just like everybody else, not because you now, have a gun in the bag. That's interesting because we we did kind of joke around about that like last week, and I actually spoke to a couple of people. That's not impossible to implement as long as we get politicians, people. We 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 gotta start voting. We gotta start voting. Like the marches are great, and those are important. They have its place. But we, one, we got to be informed. We have to stop being emotional of what's happening because the media has its play with certain things. But I think the point system thing could work. But we also have to get allies that care about black lives right. in p political power, in, in position. Right. You know? I definitely think people need to be um, educated on um, the right Didn't stuff we do show and be so knowledgeable. It's all, this all blends in, man. <laughs> it's, it, it is. It's, 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 I mean, it's, you want to do... It's, a, it's a major problem. It it's, it's the history. History is backwards. Things are twisted. When, you, when you're running a country, and I'm sorry, when you're running a country based on lies, man, based on lies, when you have rules in place to keep people down, what do you think is going to happen? Right. But if you ignore it and you confuse people, they're like, okay, what's the problem? Other, some people are like, what's the problem? There's no problem. Right. And that's where, where the confusion comes. It's, it's, it's the system. The yes. system is corrupt. Not just the police. I'm not saying all police officers, because you have really great police officers out there. But the system yes. as a whole, from education, from the housing, from... I mean, it, it goes... From redlining, it's all deep-rooted. I mean, if, you, if someone, if you go into a church and you kill multiple people, you should not be taken to Burger King, you know, on your way downtown. Right. You should not, th like, things like that. Is there a problem there? Is there mm -hmm. um, some power trips going on, you know? All right, folks, yeah. so look out for it. We're going to do a part two, and we're going to talk about some solutions. Thank you so much for watching, and look for... Black Lives Matter versus Blue Lives Matter Part 2.